So I want to talk a little bit about um, what you were saying before, how looking and feeling good has changed as you've gotten older. I mean, obviously, I think everybody here would agree that you looked amazing <laughs> your whole life and when you were younger, um, everything. And so, but you said that you didn't feel as confident. Can you tell me a little bit about what your relationship with your body and body image was growing up and how it's how it's evolved? I've... I've um, ever since I was quite young, I had a very strong disconnect to my body. Mm -hmm. um, I was the face on the covers. I was, you know, the the eyebrows or the face or whatever the thing was that was that people and the press and everybody focused on. And because I was never really skinny, mm -hmm. I never did runway. So I was always the one that was doing the magazines but often never fit into the samples. And so sort of grew up with this belief that I didn't look good, that I didn't have a good body. So focus on the face. And even just sort of sexuality-wise was detached sexually in my brain from all of that, you know? And then, of course, I was... So it was said I was the most famous virgin, which is really uh, great to live with. Um, yeah, oh God. Um, but it, uh, it yes happened. But um, so you know, there's there's that. But there was a whole piece of me and my life that I just put blinders on. Mm -hmm. And dance class, I would fall because I wouldn't even look in the mirror, and I would not be able to spot because it felt. There was this fear of be, of ego and fear of being that person and fear of self indulgence and all of this, you know, I don't know where whatever however <laughs> Catholic upbringing Catholic guilt, but um, but there was a lot of fear associated with it. And so my response was just concentrate from the neck up, you know, keep your brain. You know, I went to college. I was it was all about that. And <clears throat> now I'm actually celebrating it more. Because it's, I look at this body that I've lived in for a long time and appreciate it because it served me through, it's just my 25th sort of anniversary of the first time I was on um, Broadway. I mean, this my body has danced on Broadway in six shows and, you know, really feel the wear and tear of it, but it's it's been there for me. Um, so I think as I've gotten older and I've felt, closer to my own sexuality as well mm -hmm. um and that was through children to an, to a certain extent and just being able to sort of celebrate myself and start looking at myself mm -hmm. actually looking you know and I think that that's what's changed and now I'm inspired by it and want to keep going you know want to want to be better because I feel like I've connected two parts of me yeah <laughs>